Welcome back guys, it's Crypto Rocco here and in today's video we are talking about is it too late to buy Bitcoin. In this video I'll share with you some ex insights from experts in cryptocurrency and Bitcoin markets and at the end of this video I'll give you guys my price prediction for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency for 2018 and the future. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So if you guys have been following cryptocurrency market, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency have crashed massively. Bitcoin was over $17,000, $18,000. It's it's almost less than half that price uh, the cryptocurrency uh, the crypto market cap was over 750 billion it's just over 300 million now it's 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 up now from where it crashed but it's still a very cheap price so if you believe in bitcoin and cryptocurrency it might not be a bad entry point to get some cheap entries but let's get into this video so the first article that I'd like to share with you guys is only 8% of Americans are invested in cryptocurrency. So people think it's too late to invest in Bitcoin and they say we're not the early adopters. But some of the research still showing that Bitcoin and cryptocurrency is still at a very early stage. Um, although this research was only done on 2000 adults, so it's not really a perfect reflection of uh, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market but still only 8% people are invested in cryptocurrency although people might have heard about cryptocurrency and heard about Bitcoin and um, they still don't really know about it so I would say still we're still the early adopters and, and this, there's still a long way to go for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency so that's one of the first point you know there's still a lot of people getting in you've heard the news of Wall Street people of uh, George Soros and rich people are still getting into Bitcoin so there is potential for Bitcoin to go that's my opinion and if you read articles and do your own research you'd find that too so another key th key reason to buy into Bitcoin is guys um, Tom Lee is a great person to follow on Twitter I follow him a lot I learn a lot from him so Tom Lee suggested that um, Bitcoin uh, prices go up in bunches. If you if you don't hold Bitcoin in the key ten days where it went up, you won't have made as much profit. So this guy is saying that hodling Bitcoin is a good good reason, and that's the thing. That's the thing, guys. If you follow Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, guys, they the price rises in crazy crazy burst it doesn't grow up gradually so if you if you miss one of those crazy bursts of price and and the, the explosion of price if you'd like to say that then you might miss out on the profits and, and this guy says that you you'd probably not make as much profit if you weren't holding bitcoin in those key dates when it went up so that's another reason you could huddle and I've made videos on this explaining these reasons before in my previous video. Just a quick re reason, guys. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, guys, I'd really appreciate if you scroll down and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost you anything, and it really means a lot to me. I bring you guys latest news on cryptocurrency, price prediction, technical analysis, the whole lot to keep you guys safe in the crazy world of cryptocurrency money. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my channel. I also do half a Litecoin giveaways. If you're interested in that, leave your Litecoin address below. And thank you very much if you have subscribed to my channel. So let's have a quick look at the kind of compare Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market with the rest of the world. And if you look at it, guys, Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market is is tiny compared to some of the other reasons. Please, um, this this uh, this is not the latest picture. So the the market cap of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency might be slightly different, but still, if you look at it, guys, Bitcoin is compared to Bill Gates. I mean, Bitcoin is currently at 128 billion, but it's still not that much more than what Bill Gates own or how much gold gold market cap is. So if you think about it, guys, there's still a long way for Bitcoin to grow, and there's different charts, different comparisons that would give you give us some really good insights. And if you compare it to the markets, if you compare it to gold markets, if you compare it to some of the markets, some of the big companies and SP500 companies or FTSE 100 companies in the UK, you'd find out that Bitcoin is a massive room to go. I know they're not a direct com direct comparison, but if you compare them, it might give us some insights into how far Bitcoin and cryptocurrency might go. So that's just another insights for you to go into research. The two key articles that I wanted to share was the total market cap compared to some of the other key uh, key massive companies and as you can see well cryptocurrency market cap is a lot lower now but that time it was 600 billion so currently it's lower than Amazon and Facebook and by the numbers guys it shows you it kind of compares Bitcoin with uh, all the money. 83 trillion stock markets guys physical money so there's a lot of room for bitcoin to grow in my opinion again guys do your own research before investing in bitcoin 
So the question that we were looking at was, is it too late to buy Bitcoin or invest in cryptocurrency, guys? So um, if you look at the historical data, guys, if you had bought Bitcoin, guys, these are the returns you would have got. And am I saying that we're going to get these returns again? No, but potentially, guys, I'm not saying we'll ever see the returns that we got before, but you never know. That's just my opinion. But we'll, I think we'll still see healthy growth for Bitcoin and cryptocurrency market, guys. And with um, Wall Street getting in, regulations coming in, it could be very good. And again, it looks at some of compares um, the asset market cap of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies with some of the other market caps. And as you can see, guys, it's peanuts compared to some of the other market caps, guys market cap by companies versus crypto guys again it shows you how it compares and again there's a lot of room to grow money supply this could be a big big potential potential driver because lots of people believe bitcoin is a store of value but if you compare it to that guys then again bitcoin has room to grow market size versus natural resources this is a really good article i'd really highly advise you to go in and have a look at this article if you're interested in this so finally guys what are some of the predictions some people are predicting bitcoin to hit thirty thousand by um this is a recent prediction as well by end of 2018 my prediction was guys 40 to fifty thousand. actually i said 30 to 50,000 but I think around 50, 40 to 50,000 or 40,000 is a good place for Bitcoin and one of the reasons um, that Bitcoin isn't growing up is people are talking about regulations but regulations could be a good thing guys don't just say regulations are a bad thing because with regulations people with a lot of money Wall Street money could come in because they're they're a bit hesitant to invest in Bitcoin. Once they get that regulatory certainty, a lot of money could be coming in. And I mean, finally, I wanted to sell it on a tongue-in-cheek note. John McAfee said, uh, Bitcoin will reach 5,000 by end of 17. Obviously, it was a lot quicker. Uh, so that's why he's predicting Bitcoin 1 million by 2020 or he'll eat, hit, eat his dick if he's wrong so i just wanted to finish on that guys and this guy's i've actually spoken to him i'm invested in hedge and this guy's really great um and his prediction is actually very logical in the short term is very kind of volatile and it will take years before seeing any stability tom lee one of my favorite guys that i follow on twitter he's saying that um finally guys i'd just like to say do not lose invest all your money think about the long-term approach think about bitcoin whether bitcoin will be a standard for virtual currency will it be a store of value could old coin surfers uh, suffer economics of scarcity outside factors could play a significant role and there's still concerns about bitcoin being used for illicit purposes so finally guys do not risk all your life savings be smart about it invest what you can lose this is still a very volatile industry guys so be clever with your money so finally guys my question to you is do you think bitcoin has bottomed out and what is your price for bitcoin guys do you think bitcoin will go to 30,000 50,000 100,000 what is your price prediction leave your price predictions below guys and let's have a discussion so this is something i posted on twitter about bitcoin bottoming out so someone there's a lot of people are saying bitcoins have bottomed out and it's only going to go up and up i've heard this before and there's been letdowns but you never know no one can predict the bottom so if you think bitcoin will go up and up it might be a good idea to dollar cost averaging which is buying small portions of bitcoin so you don't kind of fomo in at the top or you miss this run so it's up to you guys again invest do your own research guys i didn't want to get into technical analysis or any details kept it brief kept it straightforward um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video guys if you have enjoyed it please smash that like button subscribe to my channel and leave your half a like coin addresses below um, i'll be doing a lot more videos and doing price predictions even trading signals which could potentially make you money like my prediction on ontology so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you guys enjoyed it uh, subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much